Hello world, lockpicking dev. Today I have an Avis number 34, 55 millimeters. It is a New York Housing Authority lock. And uh, very nice, I got this from someone's collection. Uh, typical Avis, uh, definitely has security pins in it and five pins. So uh, let's see if we can get this open real quick. We are at Gray Wolf Trail. Click on three. Click on one. There we go. There's our spool. Five is set, which was also a spool. Three, and there's our open, which is also a spool. There we go. There's our open, and get this tension wrench out of the turning tool out of here without dropping it in the water. There we go. And it is guttable, so when I get home, I will gut this for you. And if uh, I'm gonna leave the video now, here's the bidding on it. So yeah, five pins, it's full security pins, at least three spools in there. We'll see when we get home. Let me show you around real quick. We are at Gray Wolf Trail in the Olympic National Park. So this is the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. Gorgeous day, my first day out hiking this year. The moss is out, the sun is out. Rivers are going. Let's look at the moss. Absolutely gorgeous day. All right, everyone. I will be home soon to get that for you. All right, we're back home. And first, let's show you the pins. There we are, all spools along the top for our driver pins and all standard key pins. Well, sorry, besides one uh, standard driver up there. Um, so yeah, uh, just basic uh, spools and standard key pins. Uh, something I wanted to show after I show the key real quick. Uh, got a couple good highs in there. So yeah, not too bad bidding. And what I wanted to show is the housing in the core itself. And so normally <clears throat> you have a Schlage, so this is a different one, this is not from this lock. The housing just comes off and fits straight on top of it like that. And then it goes into the padlock. This one is unique in the sense that, so you see it here, um, it looks like it's straight up and down it's not that uh, that cylinder is that kick cylinder is to its side it's resting into the side of this housing right here so it just presses right in right there it's very interesting and um, one thing that's really cool about it too I noticed uh, is the back part of the housing is what prevents us from overturning as well sorry about that and so we're turning if I can hold it in place there we go sorry that nub right there prevents us from turning it too far to the left so too far back otherwise you can see too that in a normal rest position because of this type of housing the keyway is slightly to the left as well so it makes our picking position a little bit different um, so you can consider that um, a fine minute detail of security because to us because we're not picking in that position maybe <laughs> anyways um, yeah really cool one other thing I wanted to show real quick is um, 
I think I've been working on some projects. I just put away all my pick making stuff, so I'll be picking more here soon. Some more videos are coming. And also, I've been doing some 3D printing stuff, and one thing I've been working on is something like this as well. So it's a core holder. And this one is made completely of resin. I'm going to make a 3D file for it, just like any other one holds it, so you can um, do your pinning, whatever. And what's cool about it is because it's clear, you can see right through it all the way through. So I could see this being very, very helpful for um, sidebars specifically. And of course, I got the other size as well. These are basically the sizes from that Huck um, Euro um, gutting set. And so um, uh, keep a lookout for these. I haven't made these files yet. These I just cast in silicone and then resin. But they're really simple. So I'm going to do my measurements, make a couple prints, and put these out on um, Thingiverse. You can find them under my name, Lockpicking Dev, along with um, tons of other uh, lock display stands. If you have any other suggestions as well for um, stuff to add to those or way to tweak those files, go ahead and uh, uh, add them to my comments in the, this video or on my um, Thingiverse in the repos. Anyways, that was uh, Grey Wolf Trail in the uh, Olympic National Park, and this was an Avis number 34. 55 and it's a gorgeous uh, New York City Housing Authority one I got from someone's collection. Uh, so this one I'll probably be hanging on to. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.